I need help, y'all. First at 11, body camera video shows a police officer jumping out of a window as she came face to face with a gunman. Officer Diana Sanchez says she had no choice and in the end it saved her life as well as her partners. And she tells our very own Caitlin Ross she's still here for her daughter thanks to an angel from beyond the grave. Officer Sanchez and her partner were the first on the scene to the home in Butts County, but nothing prepared her for what happened next. Jackson police officer Diana Sanchez takes cover in a bathroom as gunshots rattle around her. I controlled my breathing and I said, all right, you got a split second decision you have to make. She tries to kick the back door down, but it won't budge and the gunman is getting closer. As long as I was trapped in there, my partner was not going to stop. So now I'm thinking my partner potentially can get hurt and I have a daughter to come home to. So those were my only two things, my partner and my daughter at that point. The window in the bathroom looks too small, but as the gunman walks up to the bathroom door, it's her only escape. Survival mode and your drone is so up that you have no choice but to just block everything out and do what you have. She radios her partner that she's safe as backup arrives. Bleeding heavily with her eyes swollen shut, she still wants to go back in. I need help, y'all. She says her courage comes from another officer who gave it all to protect others. It's hard. She um, keeps a picture of fallen Locust Grove officer Chase Maddox in her room. He died in the line of duty nearly five years ago, shortly after Officer Sanchez found out she was expecting her first child. And Chase was actually the first one to know that I was pregnant with my daughter. Maddox is now her daughter's middle name a name she hopes inspires her little girl to be just as brave. I can honestly say he was probably my guardian angel that day. The pain of losing Officer Chase Maddox was eased by the protection of her police community, and their backing is there again now. It's a feeling you really can't explain, but it's, it's definitely a blessing. Officers in her department and the surrounding sheriff's departments are now coming together to try and make this Christmas special for Officer Sanchez's four-year-old daughter. She says she's just grateful she's here to spend the holiday together. The suspect who fired at the officers was eventually arrested without anyone getting shot. Amazing video there. You can see the entire seven minute confrontation on our website, 11alive.com. And there's a link to our YouTube page where you can watch it there as well.